For the first time in at least 20 years, two top-ranking Democrats could face a public hearing over ethics charges. And the repercussions could be heard all the way till November. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest on that. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Harry. That's right. It's bad news for Democrats on the verge of the fall campaign season. The House Ethics Committee may announce as early as today that it is charging Representative Maxine Waters with ethics violations. The California Democrat is a member of the Financial Services Committee. She came under scrutiny after setting up a meeting with Treasury officials on behalf of a minority-owned bank, Boston-based One United, a bank to which her husband had financial ties. The bank ultimately got $12 million in bailout money. Waters maintained she did nothing wrong and so far has chosen to fight the charges rather than settle. With the charges already filed against Charlie Rangel of New York, there's now the possibility of two ethics trials beginning in September and lasting for weeks. Count 13 conduct. Rangel was charged last week with 13 five. ethics violations, including failing to report income, accepting an improper deal to rent a group of Harlem apartments, and using his staff to raise money for an institute named in his honor. Two trials in the middle of Congress's campaign season could be very bad news for Democrats. Let's remember 2006. It was a half dozen major scandals involving Republican congressmen that cost Republicans control of Congress. But so far, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi is confident. Uh, Are you nervous about November? No, I'm not nervous. Well, Pelosi may not be nervous, but she and other party leaders have pushed both Rangel and Waters to settle rather than let this come to public trials. And the president has all but suggested that it's time for Rangel to resign. But so far, both Rangel and Waters say they're innocent and they intend to fight. Harry? Bill Plan at the White House this morning. Thanks very much.